Hey guys, what's going on? It is Talk Foz TV here. Dan is back again with another TFTV news show. Obviously, a lot of things are happening at Foz at the minute. A lot of transfer rumours, which I will talk to upon, which involves a certain Oliver Burt. Um, obviously, international news as well, what is happening with our players who are all out on loan at the minute. Obviously, it is quite a lot going off. Um, obviously, we're going to start with the international news. Um, obviously, Jamie was was on the receiving end of a 0 0 draw last night against um, Strickland, which means um, they are at oh, the World Cup. Um, the, obviously, they went down to a controversial goal that was given against them, which I think it was very unlucky to say the least. Um, I think it shouldn't have been a penalty. And, been a penalty and obviously they went out so obviously Jamie Wood isn't going to a World Cup this time um, I think unfortunate to Jamie Wood but obviously he'll come back with a lot more minutes in his belt after he played near enough quite a few min minutes more north and Ireland so that will um, just good um, obviously a couple more players were out with Wobble Randall they have came back to Forest after the international duty we are expecting Gene, uh, Jason Cummins to um, not be involved with Scotland as much. Um, Donald Murphy obviously he is set to play for Northern Ireland tomorrow in this crucial second leg. Hopefully he does get to the World Cup. Um, so, obviously that's all the international news at the minute. Obviously we also have to go to that up here are on international duty so we're waiting to see them too. Um, transfer news, right. <laughs> obviously this is news off the block for me today. Um, Obviously, it has been said last night in the evening post by Paul Taylor, it has been stating that um, Forrest are looking at, at a couple of, of um, players, especially in goalkeeper and centre-half. Obviously, Forrest's biggest problem this season has been at centre-half and in goal. Obviously, it's no concern for them get one well one mansion. I've been playing well recently, and I think them two are fortunate. They're really good combination in centre midfield uh, centre half I meant <laughs> but I think um, obviously he's looking for another centre half obviously Jack Hobbs didn't really match for it obviously he hadn't been for the past couple of years and he's injured and obviously uh, Matt Mills is another option in there but um, Mark Wolverton is looking for a couple of centre halves or defensive players to actually boost that area because obviously we have got loads of midfielders but not any defenders so obviously they are looking at few targets and hopefully we do get some in January obviously Boris are going in after that Frederick Sauer from Brandy obviously it's the target it was the target in the summer first didn't pay that feeling that Brandy wanted and Sauer didn't want to come at that time so it might be in January we might come obviously the other um, rumour, it came out last night on the Ethan Pell's website. Obviously, we are after an attacking Premier League winger um, to actually boost and actually give it a lot more going forward. Um, the player is on the bit that um, we are interested in being in, even if it's a loan or a sign. And I believe it will be more of a loan to actually um, get him in because he just joined. West Brom in the sum of 15 million. I imagine West Brom wouldn't want to be selling him on the cheap, so it is Oliver Burt. Would he would like would turn back to not him? I imagine he would do. Um, obviously, he started a career here. Obviously, he went to Red Bull um, in um, order to last year. Never really got going in there, and obviously, um, it has been said that Forest are looking to try and sign him on loan for the rest of the season and actually boosting that attacking option that we do have. Yeah, we have got quite a few winners at the minute, but only Burt Ward if it's that lot more pace that we do need up there. And obviously with Jamie Ward's coming back from injury, Carroll's coming back from injury, obviously he's looking to use Osborne, that's more of a centre midfield form type. So obviously it's looking to something that midfield that we do actually need. Other targets, there haven't been much more leaked at, but obviously, when we do find that, I will be straight telling you guys. Thank you for watching the Hook Forest TV. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And actually, thank you and goodbye.